In this video, I'm going to be photographing my spiny flower mantis. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be photographing my spiny flower mantis because he has recently molted and has got his colours now. If you saw my previous video where I unboxed them, it was just black. Now it's kind of a black and white with spikes, which is quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate the typical image that you see online where you've got a, looks like a branch that goes down like that. Colourful background, some uh, water drops on there, and then you have some sort of insect that is walking over it. That's what we're going to do in this video, or attempt to do, I should say. So the first thing we need to do is to build up our scene before we introduce our subject. Now for that, I'm going to go with a light background. I'm just going to place that there. Just simply stand it up. Then I have this bit of leaf here. And I'm hoping I can get into my bingo clips. You can see there that hopefully he'll be able to just walk across there and we can snap a picture. And before we do anything else, we need to sort out our camera and our lighting. So for this particular shoot, we're going to use a standard Young No speed light, which is a manual speed light. And I'm going to use my soft diffuser. And of course, I'm going to need my speed light transmitters. Right, so, again, as you've seen so often on this channel, we're going to set up our camera using Live View. If you haven't got Live View, just look through the viewfinder, you'll be fine. So for me, that background looks a bit plain. Let's try the blue. Blue, the dark blue is much better. So in my Live View, I can see what's going on. Okay, so let's do this. What we get? Oh, that's nice. Let's introduce some water drops to the scene. And again, we're going to take a picture. Yep. So now we've got the scene roughly where we want to do. I'm going to adjust my f-stop to my favourite f-stop, which, as you will know, is 7.1. Take another picture. That is roughly where I want it. We are at 1 16th on the power on my flash, 1 200th of a second on the shutter speed, f7.1 and ISO 100. And in case you're new to the channel, it's a Canon 650D with the 100mm macro lens on here. Okay, so I think we're ready for our subject. Let's go get our subject out. And if anyone would like to name this little chap, then leave a comment down below with what you think you should name, this name should be. Okay, there's our, go, uh, our spiny flower mantis. He's looking awesome. I'm going to take a, uh, I'm just going to take a look on the back of my camera. See where our reference is, which is basically right there. I'm just going to tuck this in between. Hopefully we won't knock it. I can soak up some of that water because I'm getting it everywhere. Oh, on our first shot. Our first shot looks good. There's some more. Because if you Bring your finger towards your praying mantis, he'll want to climb onto it, so he starts putting his legs out like this. Makes for a really good shot. Not right there yet. Okay, we'll let him have a come onto us for a little bit. But he does like to uh, walk on me. We've got one that is actually in focus that we can use, because what's happening is as he's walking down the leaf, he's swaying this way and that way. Okay, so... To combat that, we're going to increase our f-stop to f-16. If you're on a full frame camera, I suggest you go up to f-20, f-22. Um, 
Now I'm going to go to F16 on mine. I'm not going to touch anything else. I will increase the power on the flash. So I just need to put him back on. There we go. Come on then, dude. Okay, he's off. He goes. So I'm going to increase my power to one fourth power on my flash. I'm waiting for him to get into position. And now it's literally just a case of rinse and repeat. I'm going to have him walk across the same part of the scene several times to see if I can get the one that I want. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to move my flash around. I'm going to try some from the side and some from the back to see what we get. So I've got some nice moody lighting going here. Here we go with some Rembrandt lighting, shall we? I'm going to place it to the side, not directly into him. Yeah, some nice Rembrandt lighting there for you. That's the shot I wanted. I think he performed very, very well there. So, yeah, very nice pictures, hopefully. We haven't got them into the computer yet. I will be editing these pictures in the next video. Now, for those people that are saying you want more macro adventures, they are coming. Uh, I have to wait until myself and the wife's schedule meets up before we can get out there and do these things. But for now, we have our spiny flower mantis. We've got a couple more mantises we need to get through and photograph, so I'll come up with some ideas for those. But uh, I think he performed very well. What did you think of the images? Did you like them? Did you like the video? Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And again, if you want to name this little fellow, let me know in the comments your suggestions. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. I've got a squeaky floorboard. Neighbors all wonder what's going on. In this video, I'm going to be found. In this video, I'm going to be photographing my spiny flower man. Is it? Can you believe my uh, my flash just died? So let's introduce some water to our. So let's in. You can tell springs here. Everyone's bloody mowing their lawn.